Okay, in a lot of my videos we've used uh, the cut command to cut things up. Here's an example. I'll say echo um, file.txt, whatever, just something in there. And I can say cut with a delimiter of a period, and I can say field1, which would be uh, basically if these were columns, this would be field1 here since we're dividing by the period, and this would be field2. So I can press enter there and you can see we get file. If I do field2, we get txt. And of course you can do more. You can say dot zero zero one, And still if I do uh, field2, I get txt. If I go to 3, I get the 001. So we're just dividing it up by the uh, period there. We're using cut, which is uh, probably on almost all systems you're going to use. It's a fairly common tool. Um, but when can, it's always a good idea to um, maybe use internal tools. And since we're writing the bash scripts here, uh, bash, and uh, I believe this will work in, in a few other shells as well, um, probably not, not the standard shell. In fact, we'll test that at the end of the video if I remember. Um, you can use the built-in commands to divide it up. Uh, this is slightly more efficient. You're not going to be calling a new process. You're, you're doing it with the built-in command here. Um, and, but if you're on a real slim down system, maybe cut's not available, but you have bash, uh, you can still do this. Uh, once again, we'll test it on a standard shell, which if you have a real slim down system is probably what you'll be running anyway. But anyway, I'm going to show you this. Whatever reason you decide to use it is up to you. But, uh, and I've shown you similar stuff before, but I don't think I've shown you exactly uh, this. Uh, first, we'll take the string, instead of echoing it, we're going to create a variable. So I'll just say x equals um, file.txt. So now I can say echo dollar sign x, and we get file.txt because that string is now in that variable. But if I wanted to, I can say echo dollar sign, and inside uh, curly braces, give it the variable of x. And what we could do here is we can say percent percent backslash dot uh, txt and hit enter and we get file. Basically we're saying here uh, show us everything before dot txt. Um, if we were to do this without the dot txt we still get the whole thing because it's looking for um, you know, the end. Basically, we're not dividing it. We're saying, look at the end of this file. Find it. It's basically split it in half. Um, so we could always say, if we don't know what the extension is going to be or what's after the dot, give it an asterisk and we'll get the file. Um, alternatively, if we need the second half, we can say uh, pound pound percent and we'll hit uh, backslash dot and we get everything after the dot. So we're saying, look here for everything before the slash. We could also, I believe, put file in there and we get the same thing. If we remove that altogether, we still get the whole file name because we're not giving it any parameters for the first half. Now also, uh, if we do this again, we'll say everything before the dot we get, or everything, sorry, remove everything before the dot. We're going to get everything after the dot. If we um, do a back, uh, remove the dot, it's going to get confused, so make sure you put the dot in there. Um, so we looked at uh, cutting the front and the back off. Um, now let's let's go into our standard shell here and um, and try running the same thing. So we'll say, well, first we have to create the variable because if we try to echo dollar sign x at this point, we don't get anything because we haven't set that variable in this particular shell. So we'll say x equals file dot txt, and now we'll say echo dollar sign our braces oh that's right the arrow keys aren't going to work in this shell so we got to type everything out as we go as far as I know if you know a little tip on that go ahead let me know I'm sure there probably is uh, we're going to say remove everything before the dot and we'll hit enter oh it does work in the shell I didn't think it was going to uh, so that's good to know so definitely if you're on a stripped down system maybe a, a small arm device and maybe you don't have cut available but you have a standard shell um, at least with the version of the shell I'm running right now uh, it does work so that's just splitting strings uh, in half uh, you know front or end uh, just with built-in commands inside our shell 
So anyway, I thank you for watching. I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. Um, you know, feel free to question and comment below if you know other techniques or places this will and will not work. Feel free to comment below. Please visit my website, uh, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.